Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on mount and unmount network file systems using NFS. And NFS is literally uh, an application, uh, just like a, a, a client or utilities that allow you to mount NFS or network shared file systems. Um, so you'll have like a, a centralized server and you'll need to mount those uh, network shares onto your Linux or sorry, Red Hat machine as part of the exam. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, I have created an NFS server in the background. Um, I'll provide the instructions on how to do that in the uh, description also on my web website. So you can actually check that out there. But I'll just, uh, just go through and just show you how it looks. So if I go out of this one first. So here's the NFS server. Um, if we just do an IP address, and it's on 10.02.5, and if we run the following command, show mount hyphen E, and then localhost, so it will show any exported shares, and we can see an exported export list currently is home NFS share, and this is my uh, other VM which is going to be the NFS client and just to show you how that's configured it's in the etc exports there is a line to, sh to export the share we've got read write at the moment we've got no root squash in in production you shouldn't use this because it allows root users uh, full access uh, to access the share but for, for the sakes of this um, ease of use, I've just included that for now, so it's it's there for now. So we can even in, in real case, perhaps in production, you'd have just read write. But yep, that's exported, and you can see it's successfully exported because that show mount minus e is actually showing the NFS share. Okay, so if we go to the other VM, this would be the was it dot six, isn't it? Yep, two dot six. So we we'll just double check that. So usual stuff. Um, just do should have bash the usual stuff. IP address. So this is on 2.6, which is great. So that means that's all good. So the first thing, I, I think it should be installed by default, but I suppose it can't hurt to double check. So yum install nfs hyphen utils. So before you can mount any kind of NFS or another file system, you need to make sure you have the utilities on there installed, otherwise you won't be able to uh, actually to mount. So there's obviously two ways of mounting as we always, uh, always have. We've got the permanent mounting with using something like FS tab, and we've got the um, we've also got just a manual mount using the mount command. So let's run the mount command first. So it's just mount minus T to specify the uh, file system type NFS. Then the IP address, or it can be um, in production, it will be something like a uh, FQDN of the host name, so all the fully qualified domain names. So it will be um, server1.company.local, for example. So I'm just going to use IP because I don't have DNS set up. And we specify that directory that was shared, NFS share. And then where we want to mount it to, and MMT. Uh, just amount. Okay, so there's no error, so it probably has worked. Uh, I did create a file earlier in that directory called um, I think successful or mount successful, something like that. Yeah, we can see mount success. So we can do just to verify that it works is edit that file. So mount. Oh, for specify the uh, path. We'll just do. Uh, Written to the file. Okay, so we can do right quit, and that's written to the file. Okay, so that's good. We can double check that's done, and you can see it's modified and its size has increased, which is great. Okay, so and as part of the uh, exam, you have to unmount it again. So you mount MMT, and we can double check that's gone. If we do that, we've got the uh, my download directory which I've temporarily moved over there. Cool. So if I do a clear again, we'll do the fs tab method. 
and that's etc. FS tab as before, and we create a new line. That's O to create a new line, and then we just manually pop in the details. So 10, 0, 2, 5. So it's pretty similar to what we had before for the mount command NFS hyphen share slash, and we want slash. Keep it, try to keep it on the same line so it's easy to read. Slash MMT, and we want NFS4, then we want defaults, and then we want 1 and 2, as I explained previous, in previous videos. Okay, now we want to do mount. So again, we just double check it hasn't mounted. Okay. And now we just do a mount minus a, so that will just reread the uh, fs tab as it would on boot, and it will then uh, mount anything that isn't mounted. It's no error messages, which is a good sign. Let's just see what's in the directory. We can see it's been mounted successfully. We can then just double check the mount success. Cool. And how can we verify 100% that this is, we actually are using a, a NFS share? So if we go back to the NFS share server, and we can go to this um, share directory. So if we go to ls, and then it's home, and then NFS share, which is the share which the place we're sharing. We have the mount success file. And we can just do a cat on that. Again, full <laughs> uh, location. Listen to the file. Excellent. And yeah, to finally just do unmount it again. It's U mount again. Mount. And it's gone. So, yeah, pretty simple that one. Um, so. You won't have to actually build the NFS server as I mentioned, but it could be um, good practice to understand how it works and, and how it's built. It's uh, a little bit complex, so you have to do some stuff with uh, SE Linux, which we haven't really covered yet, uh, and that will be covered in the later videos. But yeah, um, give it a go. It, it can be uh, it could be quite nice and challenging and uh, interesting to do. So yeah, do that. Otherwise, you might be able to find on the internet some kind of um, pre-made NFS server, um, drop a comment in the video and I'll try and help out as much as I can. Well, well, thanks for uh, watching my video once again. Um, I've got uh, affiliations with um, Hostinger for the hosting as I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, I've also got some Sophos Home promotions as well going on uh, if you're interested in that. And finally, um, it, I'm, I'm I'm looking for any donations uh, to to my work um, via Kofi co or Coffee, um, and the, in there you can just uh, give me a, enough money just to buy a coffee or something like that. It would be uh, much appreciated. Uh, well, thanks for watching the video again once again, and I'll catch you next video.